Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I've got a desk and rascal cart set up and kind of tour video just so you can see kind of how I have kind of everything laid out kind of for maximum efficiency. The desk that I currently have has pretty much zero storage underneath it so literally what you see is what you get so I have basically been tweaking my cart over time to be a, a proper extension of my desk and I now finally have it kind of set up in the most efficient way so I thought I'd take you guys through kind of the bits and pieces that I use how I use them and yeah hopefully this um, doesn't kind of look too awful there's going to be lots of kind of interesting moving around with the with the camera um so hopefully this comes together quite well and hopefully um you enjoy this kind of little tour so first up i want to talk about this desk uh letter rack so this is from a brand called osco it does now appear to be discontinued which is really annoying because i actually find this super useful and much better than standard letter racks for organization because it's got the sealed up sides it just means you can kind of work with it a little bit easier you can fit a lot more things in particularly smaller things whereas the open side ones you can't you can't organize things as neatly the setup of this, of this is um you can see two of the longer kind of um inserts at the back and then at the front you've got two smaller ones this actually fits a hobonichi cousin in either of the two back ones um before you start stuffing it with uh stickers and photos so my hobonichi cousin did live in here for probably the first two months of the year and then it got too wide and that's when it moved over into the rascog um so currently what i have is my ipad and the cable stretches down to the back of the pc so it can just live always on charge means I can quickly grab it when editing and what have you. In here I have these, so this is an A5 size um, clear wallet um, which is really handy that it does fit A5 size in here and this just basically keeps all of my sterling ink kits as and when they arrive I like to keep them together in the months so that you know I can just pull out a month's worth and everything will match. I then at the front have my week so my weeks will either live kind of in here or will live kind of out on the desk depending on whether I'm using the weeks more often or the cousin. Um, I love that this fits it perfectly and also leaves a little gap so what I can also do and what I frequently do is leave my Hobonichi pen in here or whatever fountain pen I'm using so that both are together and I can quickly grab them. On this side I then have just um, post-it notes, sticky notes, little notepads, just things that I want to grab and quickly write down notes. I like to have them to hand. Um, I also at the back have my habit tracker notepad. Um, this is something that I created and released in the shop a couple of months ago. I like having all my habits together in one place and not having to kind of flick through millions of different pages in my planners to kind of keep up with whether it's daily or monthly or weekly or whatever. Um, and then finally, I just have a couple of clips, always handy to have these out when I'm planning, particularly because I'm using a Passport TN and if I'm doing kind of like a big wholesale um, update of my monthly pages, the, the pages do need holding down. Um, so yeah, nice place to, to keep these. Not a huge amount to talk about here, um, but probably a good time to talk pen pot. So this is actually a uh, candle um that i adored and loved the jar and thought it was perfect for a pen pot so um i just melted all the wax out of the middle and yeah these are all my kind of daily driver pens the ones i reach for the most handy to have them out and i actually really like this jar and thinks it works quite well with the the kind of setup and style that i've got going on on the desk also keeps my tweezers because i always need those to hand for stickers i then have this um, lovely collapsible crate. I've been, or I had been eyeing these up for ages and was kind of struggling to think of a reason to have one. I've actually found this has been really handy. It's kind of gone from an impulse purchase that I didn't really have kind of a an idea for to a really handy place with just kind of like bits and pieces that don't really have kind of a proper home or maybe don't have a proper home yet. So I have, you know, hand cream and lip balm and my earbuds, but then also it's a good place for, you know, when I buy new things. So there's some new ink in here that I've recently bought this week. So it's a good place just to kind of pop little bits like this because I want to leave them out, fill up some pens, you know, have a play with them, do some pen tests and then put them away kind of where, where my inks actually live. So it's quite a nice place just for little kind of bits and pieces that you want to kind of keep tidy and don't want to you know leave hanging around okay on to the car and this is probably going to be the one that's the going to be the most either annoying or easy to film 
Um, so the first thing that I recently did that kind of was a game changer for me was actually putting my planners in the top. Um, before it was in the bookshelf that I mentioned um, that's kind of behind my desk and it was so annoying having to go and reach for things that I might not necessarily have used very often but was still kind of annoying that I had to go out of my way to go and grab it. Um, before that I also didn't really have a proper place to keep my passport TN when I'm not out and about and my cousin um, when it no longer was you know small enough to fit in there so it was just a bit of a light bulb moment of actually I could store all of these things here so they're really easy to grab you know all my most used things so my eye pouch my um, sticker book and my sticker storage these are all the things that I will grab kind of you know several times a day so having them within grabbing distance um, yeah I'm kind of annoyed that I took so long to um kind of set it up like this but yeah this is perfect for me and it looks neat and tidy and it frees up some bookshelf space so yeah working amazingly for me then at the back i have this penko storage caddy this is another um kind of purchase of something that i've been after for a while but didn't really have a use and then just said sod it and bought it and it's worked out really well i've always struggled with washi storage and kind of getting it right it can take up a lot of space and particularly if like me you don't use a lot of washi anymore um i you know i didn't i didn't want it taking over a load of space so this works out quite well because i can actually have everything kind of stacked too high so i can put my lesser used washi on the bottom most used at the top so this and then the middle one here which i'm struggling to kind of show you they're all my washi now and then these are good like pen pot size for um, all of my highlighters and like my uh, colour dot liners and things like that that again I will grab pretty, re pretty regularly but I don't want them you know taking over millions of pen pots perfectly handy here I can grab them as and when I need them and then I've just got my glue, skit, my glue stick and my tape which I use for tippins because this is the um, like invisible stuff really handy um, so yeah so that's the top Okay, so next shelf down is for things that I don't use as often. So this that I've probably had about 15 years that I picked up in a novelty store actually works perfectly in here. It fits um, the whole width and fits all of my notepads. So this is all of my um, either partially used or completely unused notepads, notebooks, um, pocket inserts, everything kind of paper that isn't my current planners, which are up there is in here, fits it all nicely. Also kind of serves as a good kind of barometer of I don't need any notebooks because I can't fit any more in here. So it's a good kind of check for myself when I am out shopping and, you know, wooed by a, a pretty notepad, which let's face it is pretty often. I then have my trusty Delphonics pouch. So this used to live on the top, um, but kind of everything in here is just bits and pieces that would probably live well in like drawers or something like that. And obviously I don't have any in this desk. So it's just a really great place to kind of keep bits and pieces of like ephemera or stickers that kind of aren't my style. Or there's a whole thing for postcards and there's a cutting mat and more blotting paper and, you know, just little random bits. My printer is in here. And then a couple of pens that I don't want to kind of hide away in the drawers down there because they are nice. Um, like my Energels, I used to use these kind of religiously. Um, every so often I will reach for them. So, you know, reaching down here is easy enough, but it's, yeah, it's not a frequent thing. Then in the back here, I have this super cute pouch. This basically houses all my other kind of spare pouches. So mini drawer pouches, mini purses, things like that. They all live in there. And then at the back, I just have some sterling ink. Um, this is like the acetate from some of the kits. I am really behind on using my sterling ink, so there is quite a lot kind of stacking up. Um, and I have cancelled the subscription, so I'm just wondering kind of what to do with some of this stuff now, because particularly the acetate, I don't really get around to using. I'm not an acetate person, really. So, um, yeah, that's kind of there for now, although not ideal. Um, and then here, just because there was a bit of space, I have a, another little candle pot um that i have just put clips in and then some ink for watercoloring because this stuff is the um stuff that doesn't bleed when you use it with watercolors okay so for the bottom shelf um i got a bit lazy and didn't want to sit on the floor and because they're um just these acrylic drawers i thought you know what i'll just lift them up and kind of talk you through what's in each drawer these were also from osco the same brand as the um letter rack but again annoyingly the five drawer 
also seems to be discontinued. I can't find it anywhere. I can only find the three drawer that I'm going to show you next. Um, but this basically has all of my brush pens and then my fine liners and coloured pencils and kind of regular pencils. I don't like hiding them away in pencil cases. I like to have them out and available to be grabbed if need be. So yeah, they live in here. And then in here, I've just got kind of, again, bits that work well in actual drawers, um, which obviously I don't have um, in this desk. So it's just bits and pieces of other kind of stationary bits. So, you know, stamp sets, hole punch, another um, ruler, bits and pieces like that. Again, I don't use them very often, but I like to have them kind of all together like that. And then this is just kind of my tech drawer. So um, headphones, power banks, things like that. They live in there. Next, we have the three drawer set that is still available, thankfully. And this kind of houses all of my other pens. So this is for my kind of nicer pens. So any fountain pens that aren't in regular use, spare cartridges. Next, we have all of my gel ink pens and kind of refills for things like the Jetstream, um, all gel ink pens apart from obviously the Energels, which were, were in my Delphonics. And then the final one is for kind of a couple of random bits and pieces of pens that I've accrued and then my microns and then, you know, like a watercolour brush pen, and then like random bits and pieces like that. If, like me, you don't have drawers or you can't find any good drawer organisers, these little acrylic drawers are perfect for just bits and pieces like this that, you know, you want you want to have a home and you want to kind of tidy them away, but um, you're kind of struggling for, for um, you know, how to do that little mini drawers fit in a lot of places these have lived on desks in the past because they are so small um, the only thing that they don't fit which I should probably mention is Tombows because they are so long Tombows fit in the five drawer um, which like I say isn't available but there is a three drawer version so if you are looking for some sort of like drawer configuration for Tombows I do recommend checking out the the Osco acrylic drawers um, but that's it basically for the Rescog. Um, this, these sit in the bottom shelf together. They don't quite fit in a way that they can both pull out, but because I go into these so infrequently, it's not really an issue for me. I'd rather have it all together and not have it all the way behind me in the bookshelf so that when I do need to, it's a lot easier to grab. And that was it for my desk tour. Hopefully the filming of this has gone okay or rather the editing of it and it doesn't look terrible um hopefully that kind of makes sense around how i've got everything set up and you know how it works for me i'll drop links of um everything that i've mentioned that i can find down below in case there's anything that you really like obviously apart from the sadly discontinued products um i will also leave a link to my keyboard um just in case anybody else loves yellow as much as i do because that is one of my favorite things on the whole desk and i realized that actually i haven't talked about it because it's nothing to with storage but it's beautiful and as you can see it matches the yellow theme of the room um but hopefully you really enjoyed this video um if you did please like and subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber and if you do have any comments about kind of my setup and anything like that or anything that i use um please just drop me a comment i'd be more than happy to answer thanks bye